hike. Um, hopefully these are on a single file rather than those massive high resolution ones. So I'm gonna resume my podcast. Uh, she crying again? protesters able to get through to mainland Chinese with that message? Right. I think it's really tough for them. And it mostly falls on deaf ears. What do the mainlanders say when, when you... Ask for the democracy. Yeah. They, they have the question mark over their head. What is democracy? Are, are they serious? They just like, disagree with, with what you say. I was talking to a young woman today. She had been saying there all day at the arrivals hall with the explicit goal of trying to get through to mainlanders. And she told me that she really felt like it wasn't successful. That Come on, people would keep going. Just walk by, there was a guy who hooked her off at one point. We asked them, do you know what this democracy? Do you have it in China? The democracy is not for sale. You can't buy it. Do you know what the democracy is? You have no idea. So Chinese mainlanders are hostile to that. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Large part of this amazingly intense propaganda machine that exists in the mainland. Come on, keep going. Caught on in the mainland is this idea that the protests are the work of America, that the CIA is backing. Come on, keep going. Come on. Believe that people would come out to protest just out of their own interests. They believe come on. there must be somebody pushing them to do this. And that they are just pawns in this broader geopolitical war. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm in a taxi and news about America comes up on the radio. Inevitably, the driver will turn back to me and ask, why is America trying to hold China back? Why is America trying to stop China's rise? Come on. And a large part of that is trade war that has broken out between the Trump administration and China when I'm out and about. Oh, you're too old. Do you see her? They're running and jumping and smiling. She's almost 15. Isn't that old? Is it old? 19. I'm going for 19 and then I'm putting her down. Could you divorce me? One day I, that's too old. Susie! It all adds up to a sinister plot by the U.S. to undermine China's rise. Touch! Susie, touch! Come here, Susie, touch! has led revolutions. Come here, touch! And now it's China's turn. And now it's using Hong Kong to undermine China. And who knows what else? Maybe it's plotting some kind of revolution. It's really this, I would almost call it, a national campaign to drive up patriotism and specifically to defend Hong Kong against what they see as this foreign threat. This is your last time in the jelly bean bag. This is work. I did. You don't think so? I hope so. I was here yesterday, and I was... She gets to run around like a lunatic. And so I went to the airline desk, and of course, there were dozens and dozens of mainlanders who were also heading back to Beijing. And so we got to chatting a little bit, and these two friends from Sichuan province started to talk to me. 
me about how they saw the protests. <laughs> Come on. Could ever happen in China. Hong Kong was unruly, and that it must be some foreign force that had tried to bring this against China as a way to destabilize the country. And so you really hear, just talking to mainlanders, they almost pull these points out from the exact same places. They speak in the same terms about foreign influence. Come on. sense that the Soviet Union did not do enough to ensure ideological conformity and he sees that as the root cause of the collapse of the Soviet Union and he's going to make sure that that doesn't happen in China and he sees Hong Kong as perhaps the first step toward that unraveling. From that perspective, it's in the best interest of not just mainland China, but of Hong Kong to get these protests under control. Right, in the party's view, it's now time for national unity, not to be undermining China's rise and speaking against the Communist Party. Inside the airport, the two camps really, I think, aren't hearing each other anymore. There's the sense that they're speaking past each other. on the one side calling for democracy the mainlanders coming from this uh, hey Susie 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 where are they Susie Susie touch Susie touch Susie touch Susie Rhonda Rhonda touch she turned right around Do you see them or no? Is she crying? Who was that? Oh. Who's crying? Is she still crying? Why are you doing that? Why are you a little whiner? But I think where a lot of people wrong. are now thinking <laughs> is maybe we were wrong. Maybe there's not really a happy middle ground here. Maybe I hope she's no okay. I to she compromise. So we so divide that fast. Where do you think we've been good? I mean, except for that one day, which could have reversed a lot of. That was five minutes one day. It's all tough. To control the protests. But many experts say that's still very unlikely. They feel that Beijing wouldn't want that kind of a reputational hit. They don't want another Tiananmen Square incident where the world's decrying them for taking strong action against protesters. But there are a lot of other tools that China could use. God, JD turns out work. I know, because I... You have to review... every day. ...is really to put these companies in the crosshairs. And is that a powerful enough? Uh, you and fucking you Ethan Daly looking. That was crazy. That was my point with my email. <laughs> we would have never been done. 
And you know, I, I, you know, those things were not that important. Now, making those. No, they are important. All right. I'm. What we're trying to do is all the stuff that you're customer service. The stuff that people don't understand. And then, honestly, everything took 10 times longer because Salesforce and all the production files are so messed up. All of this should have been really simple. I mean, like I said, I'm running, getting products, I'm checking, because nothing matches. So everything took 10 times longer than it needed to. And even like what I'm doing now. No eyeglass, Shannon. I know. I'm, I'm sad. I, I mean, because if I'm on a comparison chart and that costs I know. more. And that's the federal weight. I mean, you wear it in the summer. <laughs> You're going to have eye sunglasses. This <laughs> makes no and sense. That from the get go has been one of our like, signature features. We put it in right, yes. everything we could fit it in. Almost from the beginning yeah. of time. I know. I was from really early on. And it went in everything other than like t shirts and pants. <laughs> I mean, my first pullover has one. And it would come a long way from the versatile clip, but still, we all had it. I mean, and by that one, all things done. Should we bring it back? I was thinking about it. When's the reorder? Uh, the start of the century for spring or for summer. All right. Really? So we don't have, we, we're already back ordered on so, so annoying about parodies, by the way. Why were we so late to reach out to them? Do we not have parodies? Um, it was due July 29th. Okay. So I always give it Hello again. Who's that? Is that your buddy? Is that your poodle buddy? Hello again. How are you? <laughs> Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I was not a hobo last night. Same issue. He decided he wanted to go chasing deer this morning. Oh, did you find some deer? Yeah, we have 11, 11 of them. 11, really? Yeah. yeah, it's the same pack. Where'd you see yeah. it? Hey. You two can go play. You are not getting down. <laughs> <laughs> She's the one that wants to start it. She gets her gets out of her jelly bean oh. bag today, we she hope. Oh, yeah? Two weeks, two weeks, we'll two weeks ago it happened. So. Sure. I know, it's hard to tell. Well, Here, you want to look at it? You know, no, it's got to leave it on. Play. It's too hard right now. How you doing? We're good. You here your full time or? Yeah, I've been here 50 years. Yeah. Oh, 50 years. Wow. Smarter than the average. Yeah, I've been, You've been yeah. retired 50 years or what do you do? Uh, no, I've been retired for, I've been in real estate business forever. Huh? And um, I've retired about six years. Developer or broker? Ah! No. <laughs> Boy, that happened to Lori. Oh, she lost her in a shitter thing. <laughs> 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 Lori's not ready to walk down hills, but she just walked up hill to me, up on hill every morning. And I picked her up up there. Come here. Come on. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Come on. Were you a broker or a developer? No, I, just, I did a bunch of stuff. I was a broker for, I mean, I... An agent. I worked at Sun Valley Realty in the beginning, and then I worked at McCann's at Town forever. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was going to Sun Valley, and I was building that house. I built that house. Wow.
Oh, come on, Chloe. Get in there. Get in. Slider, you're over here. Slider, you're over there. If you were, if you had more poodle in you, you'd know. <laughs>